YouTube, this is Justin Von Hare with another Quick Logic Pro X tutorial. Now, um, before I get into this, uh, you know, those of you who haven't watched any of my other videos, you know, about five years ago, you know, know that I transitioned over from uh, FL Studio over to Logic Pro X, and a lot of the functions that I used to be able to do on, you know, on on FL Studio that I was no longer able to do on Logic Pro X because they're two different DAWs and two different software programs. At least so I thought. Um, over the years, I've been, you know, coming to figuring these things out to kind of make my workflow um, a whole lot faster. Um, but before we get into it, first thing I want you to do is, uh, if you notice that up here in my in my transport bar, you see I got my my, my my time my time count and my divisions, um, and that's because I'm in custom. Now, if you uh, don't have that function, you know, first thing you want to do is you want to right click and go over to customize, and you want to make sure that this box right here is checked where it says signature and division. So if that's checked, then just simply go to this little cog wheel because this will be your default view. When you first start up your logic, unless you have your, this is my default. When I, whenever I start my, whenever I start up any logic track, um, you want to go to the cog wheel and switch it to custom, and then you'll be able to go in between your divisions. Now, right now, it don't make any sense, but I'm about to show you right now. So before we uh, start, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you listen to the track. in motion you see them moving you hear them moving now I'm gonna show you how quick and easy just doing this one simple thing is just gonna make your your work process when doing these hi-hats that much easier oh, I didn't even realize I had these muted uh, see how this this you should I mean I would like to hope that you know that you guys know how to count count out bars and counts one two three four so within that first one it's 16 16 counts within that 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 one bar and this is how you accomplish those hi-hats because if you see within that 16 I have four the way I got that was I simply switched over my division. So the way I accomplished my hi hats, so I just drew a straight line, and because my beat is doubled, I switched it to eight. Escape five. That'll take you over to your your scissor tool. You want to hold Alt Option and click. Simple. Boom. Every last hi hat. Now that gives me six counts within that one bar. Switched over my time division. 16. Like let's say if I wanted here to go back to 32. Hold Control Alt Option. I mean, can, I'm not Control Alt. Hold Alt Option. Now that just quick chop. Now FL Studio had a function where if you drew it out, you would just be able to, you know, highlight whatever MIDI note, and you will go to it, and it will have a function, and then you will have to select what division count. This doesn't have it. If it is, and you know it, please feel free to share it. I mean, because this community is how we build off of each other. Like you may know something that I may not know. I may something that you may. I may have something that you may know. You know, you know, post it down in the comment section below or even make a video for it and share it. You know, share this video with your friends. And if you, you know, you have a, a, a an altern, al alternate version of accomplishing this, you know, please feel free to share so that we can 
build up our community because FL Studio, I mean, if you go online, I mean, like you'll find uh, countless tutorial videos on, you know, opening up this box. And it's not so much or so many tutorials in Logic Pro X and, you know, we need to help each other out. So um, I hope that you're able to, you know, take this technique and make it a whole lot, make your workflow a whole lot faster. Because what I would do is I, w I used to draw, I used to listen, I used to, you know, have my pencil tool out, draw my notes in, go back up, switch it back to 16, start it off, then go back in and switch it back and then... That, that's the way I used to do it. Now, this makes it a whole lot faster. And if it's something that I just simply don't want in, I can just bring up my eraser tool and draw and, and delete them. That's what I used to do. I, I would either draw them in and then uh, listen to it and then add them in, or I would just draw everything in and then as I go through, delete them. So, uh, once again, this is Justin Vine. If it is good, if it sounds good, it is good. Peace.